This is the slotted line lab, and the equipment you'll need for that. this is the network analyzer. You'll need this calibration kit that has in it um, a short load, two 50 ohm terminations, an open load, and a bunch of connectors. And you will also need a, uh, uh, what is this called? An adjustable line and uh, a 40 ohm connection right here. It says very, and you could measure it if you're not sure, but it says 40 ohm. And you'll also need the T connector later. So the first thing you need to do is to calibrate the network analyzer. And you turn it on with this button here. So the first you hit preset. And then format. And then Smith chart. And then you want to calibrate it. So you hit cal, calibrate menu and then S11 port. This is the S11 port here. And then you're going to connect your open, short, and loads to the load and hit the appropriate button. So first I'll connect the open, which is this. Just screw it on right here. And then you press the open button and it, there's a little beep when it's done. And then I'll do the same thing with the short. And then the 50 ohm load. And then when you're done, you hit this done port one cal button. And then you'll hit resave or save reg one. So now the system's calibrated. And the next step is to connect the 24 ohm load, which is right here. So this has the wrong type of connector, so you want to make sure you have the right connector to connect to the network analyzer. So you just screw that on right here. Right. And now we want to measure the, Im the impedance. And the way we do that is we press marker and then marker mode menu and Smith marker menu and then here we have R plus JX marker so you have the real and imaginary markers imp impedance and you can move along this uh, this chart with the this knob here and the the first reading here is the real resistance and the second Reading is the imaginary impedance. So you can move along here and uh, look for whatever values it is that you're looking for. So the next part of the lab involves using a slotted line to match the load. So what we do for that is, OK. So for the single stub matching, you first uh, set the instrument to 300 megahertz. So by doing that, you press menu, where's menu? CW frequency. And then over here, you do 300. And then you press um, M over mu right here. And so now the now we're um, measuring it at 
uh, this particular frequency. So now you have to recalibrate again. So the same procedures before, um, cal, calibrate menu, S11 port. open short and load and now you save it into register two, so done one port cal. Oh. And resave or save reg two. So now we want to connect the 25 uh, ohm resistor to the line. So I'm gonna put on this connector right here to the 24 ohms. And where's this bit? Oh, and I'm going to connect this connector to the output port here. So I connect my load to this line, and the line moves. You can adjust the length like that, and then just connect this to the load. Okay. Now you can adjust the oops the length of the line and that will move the that'll change the you can see up here is the resistance and the negative, the real and imaginary impedance, and changing the line will change the resistance of the load. So that's how you move it along, and then you you get it to the center point or wherever it is that you're trying to measure. 